Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today we are going to be doing an unboxing. I just got back from my PO box and this box was waiting for me at the UPS store and it is a box from Nutstop. I was really excited that they reached back out to me and asked me if uh, I wanted to partner with them again, receive some items uh, in exchange for using them in a video. So let's open this up so you guys can see what is inside. I literally just walked home. I had dishes on my counter. I put them away because I was so excited to get in here and see what, what I got. Now there were a couple of items that I really would like to try of theirs and they were out of stock. so. Said they were going to put a little something in here as a bonus because that item was not the two items that I asked for or would like to try were not available and I'm going to struggle with this box here all right here we go so again this is from Nutstop their website will be linked down below it is nutstop.com and I do have a code to get you guys a little bit of a discount. So let's see what is in here. This is a huge box. All right, the first thing is, oh, veggie chips. This is one of the bonus items because I did not pick this out. So that looks really good. I normally don't have snacky food in my place, so this is a nice change. It has sweet potato, squash, taro, carrot, green bean, purple, sweet potato, and some sea salt. So that is nice. And I think most of these, this is a six ounce bag, so veggie chips. What is this? Unsweetened banana chips, and this is nine ounces, and it just has bananas and some oil. I did not have this on my list, so I'm excited to try that out. I wonder if that might be good in oatmeal. Let's see. All right, roasted pepitas. I think that's what you how you say that. This is 16 ounces. These are unsalted. So the reason why I picked this is I had seen a few granola recipes that had this in here. So I'm excited to put this into granola. Uh, let's see, raw walnuts, and this is a 14 ounce bag, and that looks really good. Also, I think for granola. Um, unsalted roasted pecans. So that looks really good. Um, if you guys can think of any recipes that you would like me to try these in, please link those down below. Let's see, 16 ounce roasted unsalted peanuts. So those, this would be really good on top of banana ice cream. Let's see, what is in here? Roasted unsalted macadamia nuts. This is 16 ounces, and those look really good. I've seen some keto uh, type of desserts that call for macadamia nuts, but I've never been able to find them in my grocery store. Uh, let's see. Roasted unsalted hazelnuts. I thought this would be good for uh, holiday type of desserts. So those look really good. And if I didn't say, this is a 16 ounce bag. This is a 16 ounce bag of roasted unsalted almonds. And those are versatile. I can make coffee creamer with this, almond milk. Roasted unsalted is always good to have, or raw unsalted. All right, this is slivered raw almonds and this is 16 ounces which I thought this would also be good in granola the slices that I got from the store kind of got mushy so I'm thinking this would be better in granola I have just a couple things left <laughs> all right next is unsalted roasted and this is cashew 16 ounces again coffee creamer could be cashew milk um, cashews are also a really good, um, well, I can make the vegan cheesy sauce with cashews and cashew cream as a, um, what is it, um, 
drawn a blank, uh, sour cream substitute. That would be good. Only two more left. <laughs> golden raisins so the granola recipe that i found called for raisins i use dates in my um in my granola or yeah granola bars that i made the last time so i thought i would try it with raisins and those are really big and plump and last is the pecan meal i loved this i got this last time it is 14 ounces this is really good in bread i when I bake bread in my bread making bread, I've been putting pecan meal in there and it has been just delicious. So this is a ton of stuff. So I will list the items down below and the link to the website. But let me know if you guys know of any recipes that you would like me to make these with, keeping in mind that what I have available is a microwave oven. I have an air fryer, a toaster oven. I have a Foreman grill trying to think if I have any other appliances. I do have a Vitamix and an Instant Pot. I do have a crock pot and a hot plate with two burners and a very small saucepan and one small frying pan. So keep that in mind if you're gonna leave me recipe links down below that I'm kind of limited on what I'm able to cook. So this is really exciting. Thank you so much to NetStop for reaching back out. I am excited to use these in some future videos. Again, links will be down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.